All right, so part F using table J. So we said, we looked, and we said that metals with acid make hydrogen gas, and they do, um, except there are a few that don't because they're just not that reactive. They're not that reactive of metal. So the rule is anything above H on table J will do that. So here's table J. There it is. And here's H. And all these things, anything above H, will bubble and fizz and make hydrogen gas. So those metals all get corroded by acid. You pour acid on any of those, and it's going to bubble and make um, some nice hydrogen gas. Um, just these ones below are the ones that do not react with acid and make hydrogen gas. So if you look, it's copper, silver, and gold, right? So these do not react. Um, and if you think about it, copper, silver, and gold, are those valuable metals? Absolutely. Copper is what we make like all of a lot of our pipes and wiring out of, right? Because copper doesn't corrode with acids. So you can flush all these acids down the drain and it's not going to corrode those uh, copper uh, wires are we also use copper wires with electricity because there's some acid in batteries and that copper's not going to corrode all right silver and gold right you get stuff on your hands all the time why do we make our jewelry out of silver and gold because it's not that reactive it doesn't get broken down when you wash your hands with a base um, or when you get lemon juice acid on them we don't want our jewelry i don't want my ring to start fizzing uh, and breaking down every time i get an acid on it like vinegar or something um, so my old mentor teacher used to take his wedding band off and drop it into hydrochloric acid just to prove that anything below H will not bubble and fizz and break down and make hydrogen gas. Um, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to do that to my ring, but I could. Um, so that is the rule. Um, so here it says state whether each of the following would produce hydrogen gas when mixed with an acid. Copper. Uh, nope, Co copper is below hydrogen gas, so that should be a no. I got that one wrong. Um, tin, zinc, let's see, tin, SN, and zinc, ZN, those definitely are above H, so yes, they will react and corrode and hiss and bubble when you pour acid on them. Gold, that's below down here, so that's a no. And then iron, Fe, let's see, where's that? That is above our H2. So yes, that will react. So it kind of makes sense that it's H, H, right? Because that's the gas it forms. So everything above H gives off H gas. When you pour acid on it, everything below H will not break down, will not give, give off H gas when you pour acid on it. 